Hi, welcome to Maker Kids Lab, the Bug Hotel in a Cigar Box video. I took a cigar box available anywhere where cigars are sold. Of course, you have to wait until they're empty to purchase. But you could really do so many things with these. And I painted the inside with patio paint. It's an outdoor water-based paint. I let that dry. And I put on right here a small D-ring so I could hang it up. And I might actually hang this inside because I like the way it looks. It's um, to me, it's pretty. But basically, I started with a frame. So you can see, let me use this laser pointer. You can see right here, I got a zigzag frame made with popsicle sticks. Can you see that? You can see it better if I do that right here. And that helped to secure segments zigzag pretty much like that and I stack them one on top of the other with a little bit of hot glue for that so you don't have to have compartments but I just thought it was easier to make compartments and then I started stuffing with some different materials uh, materials that you would find around the house and outside and example it's right here that is an egg carton with holes put in and that looks just like this if you can see the parts that come up I use this too right here this little volcano looking thing I cut that off and stuff them inside here and here here so you could see where they are in here. And I also use little pine cones. They're stuffed right there. And twigs, oak, because that's what I have. A couple of kids' um, non-toxic blocks that are just pure wood that the kids didn't really play with anymore. They didn't mind at all. In fact, they started crafting with me. And then here, some rope, twine, here some cheesecloth, here some chopsticks from the restaurant that are not treated. I, believe, I think they might be bamboo, but bamboo reeds would really, really work nice in something like this, but I couldn't get a hold of any. So then I have some rolled craft paper tubes here. And that's basically like you take a pencil, and roll up some craft paper really tight. Now, with my twigs, if I couldn't cut them with my little wire cutters or, or um, my small hand tools, I ended up using this little guy here. And he worked perfectly. And I finished it off just by making sure, if you can see here, I would give things a little nudge and see how tight they were. And when I was just starting it, I did just pack it in and use a little bit of non-toxic glue gun just to adhere my certain spots. And you can see it's not totally flush. If it was totally flush, I could probably close it and take it with me. But I thought it was kind of cool looking like this. Now the paper tubes, like bees like those, um, I don't know if we'll get any because I don't know if this is going to go outside, but it'd be a good experiment to do. Anyways, um, let me know if you have any questions. And thanks for watching this.